All right, guys, so I, for one, am extremely excited. They just revealed the brand new Ultra Kid Boo's abilities. Now, we will be reading this together. I have not read this yet. I literally just woke up 10 minutes ago, <laughs> hence why I'm not on camera. And as well, I, I think it'd be much better if you guys can read all this without me being in the way. So, um, yes, let's not waste any time. And by the way, if you guys do find value in today's video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So, yes, um, I'm scared to read these guys' abilities, man. They've never, by the way, dropped it like this uh, on their official website and abilities. So, very interesting for them to do so. Uh, but yeah, let's just have a read here. Let's scroll down. All right, so uh, they have a little brief explanation uh, for the character right here. So we'll be reading that. It says here, this Boo's main strength can be summarized in one word, recovery. Mm, interesting, okay. Um, even after taking damage, Boo will be able to Boo will be able to stubbornly recover any lost health. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, that's not all though. It has plenty of offense abilities, offensive abilities like blast armor, um, arts card draw speed up, special cover change nullification, and endurance nullification. This ultra character combines an excellent offense and defense with a powerful type unique gauge, which I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with this. Uh, but yeah, he is going to be yellow, yellow element. Okay, so yellow element automatically i see two buffs for him in terms of region which is the og lf uh transforming piccolo as well as the demon king piccolo so he's gonna get two um you know in terms of region right so there's still of course the powerful opponent which i forgot if there's any powerful opponent uh yellow zen guys we'll have to double check i think there might be um his character tags is pretty obvious region um absorption powerful opponents and episode uh, majin Buu saga all right time to get to his abilities guys his main ability is, okay, it says here, in addition to restoring own health, this powerful main ability inflicts all enemies, inflicts all enemies, okay, so uh, with attribute downgrade, it's a little bit cut off here, but it's fine, um, draw ultimate arts card, universal destruction next, this might hit really hard, <laughs> recovers own health by 25% and key by 40 inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade, minus 40 to health restoration, for 20 time recounts, okay, um, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 30% damage received for 20 time recounts, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus one to card draw speed level for 20 time recounts, and uh, it takes 25 timers to, to a pass. So, um, pretty good. I mean, yeah, a lot of attribute downgrades. Is he defensive? Is he a support? What is he? We'll have to double check on that. So, his Z ability is pretty obvious guys it's um you know let's just check out his last abilities plus five percent to special move damage inflicted to tag regen and 42 percent to tag regeneration powerful opponent base track attack oh, okay so no majin boost saga for him here which okay which is very interesting i don't see why they wouldn't do that but okay his ultra ability is get a powerful buff in region party so very region based now <sighs> I'll talk about region later. You can tell by my sign on that. But um, yeah, if this character is the leader slot, blah, 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 we understand how this works. 30% damage inflicted. Okay, so we pretty much understand how the leader slot works. Let's just keep on moving here, guys. So his strike attack is pierced through um, enemies, which does have blast armor, right? I'm assuming. Yes, he does have blast armor. Impact damage cut penetration. Uh, gain attribute upgrade minus 10 to enemies sustain damage cut effects for 10 timer counts. His blast is pierced through enemies damage reduction effects on hits, impact damage reduction penetration, gain attribute upgrade minus 10 to subset. Okay, so same thing, uh, 10 timer counts on hit. His special, okay, we'll, we'll check out his special move, his um, green card, and we'll check out his ultimate after we read his abilities, okay? Because they placed that first for some reason. So let's, let's take a look at his abilities, which is all of this right here first, okay? Because I'm very curious to see what his unique gauge is going to do. So... It says here, fill the unique gauge and get two massive levels of card draw speed up when combined with the boost at the battle start, okay? Boo has high modifiers to damage inflicted, giving it both strong recovery and high firepower, okay? So, let's see. Applies the following effects itself when battle starts. Plus 110% to damage inflicted, cannot be canceled. Reduce damage received by 60% cannot be canceled. Increases our card draw speed by level one cannot be canceled. Applies the okay. Applies attribute upgrades minus 20% to sustain 
minus 20 percent to enemies sustain damage cut effects cannot be canceled restores own health by 30 only once when it reaches zero so he has endurance restores own health by 30 percent only when it reaches zero okay so he has endurance um restores own health by 30 percent only when it reaches zero yes okay um also plus 15 percent health restoration uh for 60 timer counts it cannot be canceled so this is very important cannot be canceled because th this is what really ruined region is uh characters that nullify you know uh health restoration so that's pretty good um also nullifies HP downgrade and abnormal conditions for 60 timer counts cannot be canceled okay let's see his unique ability guys okay or his unique gauge excuse me gradually charges own unique gauge over time while this character is on the battlefield or on standby so it's a slow gradual increase to his unique gauge okay applies the following effects when unique gauge is full plus 30 percent damage inflicted can be canceled reduces damage received by 10 percent cannot be canceled um minus five to arts to arts cards costs cannot be canceled uh card draw speed by level one cannot be canceled so that's times two right there if unique gauge is full after enemy's attack is over it resets to zero and the following effects occur so if unique gauge is full after the enemy's attack is over okay so just cover change um it will reset to zero and he gets 20 percent to health 10 percent to damage inflicted shortens ally substitution count by two and roundly destroys yeah i don't know his unique gauge just seems it seems good but it seems just like a whole bunch of buffs right he let's see i, I mean it depends how often you can run through this right if if it's pretty common for you to fill this up quickly then i guess it makes sense right because he keeps getting 30 percent damage inflicted reduces he gets a lot of little stuff card draw speed and then after the enemy's attack is over he gets 20 percent health which is good and then 15 percent health restoration okay let's just read his main ability number two now okay so i'll have to hold off on that because there's no gimmicky stuff here it's just i want to see how fast his unique gauge would run you know by how many times you could like run through this unique gauge to get all of these abilities it's not a bad thing it's really good but <clears throat> you know we still have to wait and see how this is going to function all right so his unique ability number two all right guys here we go has a special cover change against strike cards recover health and key every time an arts card is drawn for impressive durability plus when the enemy activates rising rush recover your vanish gauge by 100 percent okay but still this is not that good because what the enemy is just going to activate it from long range no they're going to combo you in to a rising rush so and when two allies are defeated nullify enemies endurance and activate powerful effects uh all right let's just read this knock back all right knocks enemies back to long range when performing against strike attacks combable with uh, supers um also applies the following effects to self every time this character draws an art card okay he gets two health percent back and he gets key by 10 percent, which is actually very good applies the following effects to self every time this character uses a strike or a blast card he gets 10 percent to special move damage inflicted for 10 timer counts he gets 10 percent to ultimate damage wow okay his ultimate might hit really hard then if that's the case for 10 timer counts you do a combo that's 40 percent extra damage right there and key recovery up to 10 timer counts as well the following effects occur when enemy activates rising rush while this character is on the battlefield it activates once restores own vanish gauge by 100 percent but that doesn't matter right if the enemy just combos in a rising rush that wouldn't really matter unless i'm missing something guys cancels enemies attribute upgrades buffs and effects so that's a little bit better um so if an enemy were to rising rush for example ultra super Saiyan blue gogeta it wouldn't his ability to cancel um endurance would not work right i'm assuming that would be the fact it's kind of like an opposite of android 17 and 18 i mean android 17 excuse me from terminator power lf um also applies the following effects to self when two anim when two allies are defeated charges unique gauge by 100 which is good and nullifies enemies restores own health when it reaches zero 
when this character clears an attack or when this character attacks. Okay, um, is he support defensive? It doesn't say, does it? He does a lot of stuff, but I want to see how fast his unique gauge is going to fill up. And Regen is not that good, guys. He's yellow, right? So this Piccolo will buff him. This Demon King Piccolo will buff him. So they'll have Vizimasu, Buzimasu. Technically speaking, if you guys want to be fair, they'll have this second form Cell and the yellow and the yellow Ultra Kid Boo. I don't know, guys. Maybe I just woke up. Let's read his uh, special. I haven't read his green card yet. Nullifies the enemy special cover changes when even convert. Okay. Nullify the enemy's special cover change and even convert your blast to into strikes. Okay. Go on the offense with strikes after using a special arts. Applies the following effects itself upon activation. Restores key by 40. Plus 20% to strike for 15 timer counts. Changes blast to strikes. Applies the following effects. Nullifies enemies special cover change. Okay, so there we go. There's a special. That's what we want to see a little bit more. Uh, and draw a special card uh, next. If this character's unique gauge is full. And, and you can combo this into anything. So it's pretty much an attack, right? And his ultimate is deals supreme explode damage. Applies the following effects itself upon activation. Plus 20%. Ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts. Nullifies enemies health restoration to zero. We all know that. Applies the following effects occurs on hits. A portion of the damage is also dealt to enemies on standby. This cannot cause them to be defeated. And steals enemies main abilities for five timer counts. And it has blast armor. Okay. And a special move is deals massive explode damage. Applies the following effects itself upon activation. Restores key by 20. Restores vanish gauge. Okay, by 100%, activates twice, destroys all enemies cards on hit with blast armor, okay, and inflicts all enemies with no switching for three timer counts upon activation. This is actually very good. This is actually very good right here. So I like this a lot. Kind of like um, second anniversary, I love Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. But yeah, guys, the anniversary is a month away. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. Honestly, I do not know. And they didn't even drop a gameplay for this guy. Have we, have we even seen the gameplay? Let's check it out. Let's see if we've seen the gameplay. Because it's kind of awkward that they haven't... Uh, that they just dropped his ability like that, right? It doesn't make sense to me why they would do that. And not uh, drop the gameplay itself alongside with that, actually. So, uh, and the character kind of seems a little bit underwhelming. But maybe I'm prejudging here, guys. He seems good. But if you compare it to Rosé, I guess. If you compare it to... Well, I haven't seen the stats or anything, so I'm going to hold off my judgment completely. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Comment down below what do you guys think about Ultra Yellow Kid Boo. Uh, he is going to be coming out Saturday at 11 p.m. Pacific time, technically Sunday if you guys are East Coast. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again for another video a little bit later on. Have a good one. Peace.